Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are new here. My name is Natalie and I'm so excited to show you my mountain staycation with my family. We arrived yesterday and checked into our place and it's so beautiful I'll give you a little tour around the house because we absolutely love staying here all right it sleeps 14 people so it has a ton of room so I don't know if I'll show all of the rooms but I'm gonna show like the main house area and some of my favorite places okay so I have Josh my lovely cameraman recording but this is when you first pull up to the house the view is so pretty here's the hot tub and Josh and I posted a cute little picture in there. And then when you walk in, you immediately see these beautiful windows, which is my favorite part of the house. Here's the kitchen, it had lots of space for cooking. Here's my coffee that I'm still working on. And then a mirror, which I always love. <laughs> Swish. Swish. These windows are literally so pretty. This is probably my highlight of the house. We have a spiral staircase. And up here is a pretty big area as well, a little coffee nook, which when we first got here, I was drinking my coffee and like reading in this little spot. And it faces the windows. Again, my favorite. I really love this feature of the house. I feel like it's designed really pretty. And back downstairs we go. Our dog tried to climb up these while we were going and he got to this step and then took a tumble. So that was really sad. Then this is the master bedroom another mirror and look at the view you get from right from your bed when you wake up it overlooks this little christmas tree farm down here which is so cute love that my other favorite part of the house is this bathtub it's immaculate and it overlooks has this huge window but again that really pretty view i just want to soak here and even this is cute everything's cute and then more mirrors Okay, so then the deck. But all of this is really nice for sitting. The view, again, this is the same view from the master bedroom and the bathroom and everything. But it's really nice to sip your coffee and be there. So then, I'm not gonna show it, but if you look on the listing, I'll put it in the thing. A downstairs area that has like a huge TV and sitting room, another kitchen, two more bedrooms, and then above the garage is another three bedrooms, I think. And then there's like a pool table and all of that stuff. So, but I wanted to highlight the main part of the house because with the windows and the bathtub, which are my favorite, I just wanted to give you a little tour. Uh, that's it. But today we are about to go get some brunch at a place called The Farmhouse. And I'm trying to decide between acai or avocado toast, which is a good problem to have. <laughs> but first, coffee. I've been making the most amazing coffees with just creamer and hot coffee, but I've brought it and I'll have to show you that as well because it is divine. Ah, I stepped out of my slipper. Hold on. Okay, Josh and I have just seen each other for the first time since November. <laughs> November, and so we're doing Christmas now, so I thought I would record it. Where do you want me to start? Start with me. I have literally no clue where this is. Luggage? Josh! Oh my gosh. There's tons of little okay. gifts in here. Yeah, what do you want me to open first? I love everything. Even the tape? I the tape's my favorite actually. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I've been pretty bad about vlogging. Oh, I'm so hot and all this in the house. Um, but we are heading skiing now, and so I was just gonna show you the get up. Why am I so out of breath? Anyway, my jacket is from Noise Original, and I'll put their Instagram. These pants are from Target, so hopefully they're nice. Scarf is from my mom. Beanie is from Cole Headwear, and the goggles I just got last night from our ski lodge, so. But I'll try to get some behind the scenes. We are on our way to the ski lodge right now. I'm here with Josh. Hello. We're driving through the mountains right now. It's not really snowing here, but apparently they make, but apparently they make fake snow. <laughs> so we will have snow on the hill regardless, but we're looking at the mountains as we're driving past right now, and there's snow all over the top. Very scary. We were just discussing. I consider myself a Floridian, even though I'm from North Carolina. I am a Floridian. Josh is a Floridian, and we were both saying, we're kind of scared of the snow. We both never skied before, or anything like that, and my extent of snow knowledge is living where I live in North Carolina. That's a really pretty house. Where it probably snows like half an inch and school is canceled for a week once a year. No snow knowledge, no previous experience, but... I saw snowfall for the first time yesterday. <laughs> yes, insert video of Josh seeing snowfall for the first time yesterday. He was so excited. It's snowing. Oh my gosh! For snow! <laughs> and he was like, get out of the car, get out of the car, Natalie! <laughs> Update you guys later. My car is not meant to. <laughs> All right, we are on the chairlift, ready to debark slightly soon. I want to try to, I honestly feel like we could do the beginner course and I could video myself. I'm going to try it. The beginner, beginner course? The one we just came from. Yeah. I think we're ready for video on that. I think we're ready for video. I'm We've gonna, upgraded. I'm going to try to video Josh, and then maybe you'll try to video me. Maybe. Maybe. chairlift, ski lift, whatever it's called, and ready for our last ride of the night. And we made it for sunset, which is absolutely beautiful. So there is that. Hello, it's the next day and wait, don't try your coffee yet. And we went skiing yesterday, we woke up, we're kind of sore, but if you have been following, you probably know that Josh is not a coffee drinker. I'm not. <laughs> He's not. So I made him a coffee this morning of my delicious coffees that I'm going to give you the rundown on how I make them later, but I wanted to film his reaction. It looks so, very, it looks very pretty. It does, okay. Perfect, whoa. A little hot, it tastes a lot like coffee. It tastes, <laughs> <laughs> but it tastes very good. Perfect. Let's see. Um, okay. So, to update you from skiing yesterday, I'm going to say that we really enjoyed it. I love that you're just completely out of the frame. It's me and my man. I have this nice slicked bun on. I'm about to do a little makeup because I'm... Oh, it's very good. You heard it here first. He loves it. I'm gonna do my makeup because I need to take some pictures for a workout set, which is... What? <laughs> A workout set. <laughs> Loves the theatrics. Um, but yes, a workout set that I love a lot. Cheers. But it's a little chilly, so I thought I would do a little indoor picture. Okay, so I have been making my coffee pretty much the same every morning that I've been here. This is the one that I already made for myself. It's very simple. Um, so I just was going to show you how I've been doing that. I have my almond milk silk creamer. I don't do dairy, so I have to go with something that is a dairy alternative. I have my mug here, 
And then I pour about that much, maybe a little bit more. And I know it seems weird to do the creamer first, but I'm gonna put this in the microwave for about 15 seconds and then I'll be back. Okay, so now this is heated up from the microwave and then I have this frother, which I got this off of Amazon. It's just one of those handheld frothers. You're just going to stick it into the cup and spin. Now that that is all frothed, it almost took up half the glass. I have my coffee, which I just made in the coffee pot and I'm going to pour that in all the way until almost the top. And you can see it already looks really pretty. Then I'm gonna stick the frother back in and like lightly press it and it just mixes it all the way to the tops, but it doesn't ruin the pretty foam because it will start to separate out again. Basically, I just wanted to show you this because as long as you have a frother and then with your normal creamer and stuff like that, you can literally make this. I'm going to be making this at my house. I just got the frother, so that's why I've started doing it this way. But yeah, that's my everyday hot coffee recipe. Very simple. Let's see. Ready? Ready? Good boy! Right. Let's see how fast you are, Max. Ready? Ready? 